we probably spent more time plugging the monitors in and hooking up the cables and getting it just all set up on the desk than we actually did getting Ifinity running because Ifinity runs right out of the right out of the gate. Uh, James on a couple of resolutions he had to go tweak something. So he had a couple of error messages or something that came up and he had to tweak a few things. So I doubt he was even an hour into this. The other part of it was I said, uh, so I guess the work's all done, right? And I was kind of joking and hamming it up. But um, what uh, Chad did is he went and took the API and he probably spent another day, uh, you know, and half that time is just trying getting the API, you know, getting the documentation, getting it all running and installing, and then going ahead and anchoring the, um, the, uh, the UI to that center monitor. Okay, which is where really the bulk of the time goes to, because you have to have a little bit of thought process. How do, where do we want the UI elements to go? But again, a, a, a day, a day and a half at most, following up, making some tweaks. You can kind of go crazy with it. The stuff works in all these different configurations, and, and downstairs there's the uh, the three by two, which is just like it's just awesome, right? And just it, it's just the stuff that we you know we only we dreamed about uh, years ago. Um, so, the, so the amount of work was really quite small. The biggest question is, you know, what do you want to do with the UI elements? We are spoiled rotten, really, to put it, to put it in so many words. We're very, very lucky. Uh, the lab, the testing, all the compatibility stuff that is done, because we just don't have the, 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 you know, the, the resources to, to test against all these, different, uh, all these different computers. So without um, uh, great partners like AMD, we'd be, uh, we'd, our quality of our, our games would go down.